score uh, this year was 152.81, which is in the commendable category. Additionally, in the review form, there are uh, comments uh, by each board member uh, regarding certain aspects of uh, areas that they've uh, attributed to this school. And uh, I guess that is a, the document's a public record if someone wanted to access it. Otherwise, no objection uh, by me. Otherwise, uh, I would assume so. <coughs> that's the review. So uh, we uh, thank you for your efforts this thank past you. year, and uh, thank you. very nice job. Look thank you. Forward to uh, <coughs> working with you over the next year, and uh, I would like to comment again that I thought you uh, made an excellent presentation of the budget yes. this evening. Thank you, thank you, Steve, for reminding me of that. Are we ready for old new business? I think so. Mr. O'Leary? Uh, I would just like to uh, start by saying that, you know, tomorrow is election day. And thank goodness I'm not on the ballot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> although the weather promises to be much better than yes. it was last year. <laughs> you know, and there shouldn't be any excuse for anybody not getting out. But in relation to uh, my two colleagues that are up for re-election, uh, first of all, I want to, uh, again, thank you for your services here on the board. and. Uh, I hope that you continue to serve on the board. I've enjoyed it very much. I, you're both uh, tremendous contributing members uh, to the board, and uh, I think uh, the current makeup of the board is, is, is very good. I think it's well reflective <coughs> of the community as a whole. I think we have some diversities of interest in, uh, in priorities, which uh, assists us in our deliberations. And uh, just I, for one, I'm publicly going to state that it is my intention to vote for both of you for re-election because I think you both have put in the time, the effort, and are contributing members to the board uh, and deserve re-election. I wish you the best of luck tomorrow. And again, that's not to detract from the, uh, the other two people who are, who are running for the board. They're great, great candidates, but I think both of you are deserving a re-election, and I wish you the best of luck tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Steve. Mr. Yule. Thank you for saying everything I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Yes, tomorrow is election day. Uh, very important. You know, this is <coughs> a very unique time for us because we have four candidates, two seats. Uh, people are showing a greater interest in getting involved, and and I, I, I commend uh, uh, both Screamer and Prisco for coming forward. I do want to say that uh, this board, uh, to me, was a, is, and the public can't always see this unless they hear every day like we are, but uh, we were candid with our ideas, we shared our ideas, we worked well together. I don't think the community uh, can see the things we started to put in motion this year and how we look forward to uh, even keeping those things to go, to go forward. Uh, working with both of you, uh, Joe and Bob, uh, has been an honor for me because uh, you know it's the new kid on the block, so to speak. Uh, I was able to uh, uh, tap into the knowledge that you bring to to this board. Um, uh, it goes beyond uh, being able to actually uh, put into a lot of words. It's just simple, and you, you you're sincere. Your efforts are are great, and the community has been better for it. So. I, and I thank you, and I wish you both great success, and uh, and I wish the town great success as, as a result. So, thank, thank you, Jeff. You. Thank you, Jeff. Mr. Dino? Yes, um, well, of course, I don't have to say there's an election tomorrow. We all know that, and I do appreciate all the comments from, from my board members. And um, we do have an, an excellent working board here. Um, I, I, I don't say that just to say it because it's true. We all have different aspects we look at, and, and, and it's, a very, it's a very, very hard-working board. Um, some of us have made decisions that were unpopular, but in our minds, uh, we've, we felt they were the best uh, after listening to all facets and all people uh, within the town. So I, um, I, I would ask for your vote, and, um, and I, would I, I also want to say something tonight that I don't think it's ever been done before, but I would ask that you vote for Mr. Masseri. Bob is an integral part of, 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 of this committee. 
Uh, Bob has done an outstanding job. Um, I know I'm voting for him. He's done an outstanding job uh, with finances and keeping us all together for the last five or six years, however long he's been chair. Um, so I would ask that. I sincerely do ask that. Um, if, in fact, I'm not successful, which, well, which I hope I am, I truly do, um, I want to thank the residents for allowing me to do this for 15 years. Um, it's been a privilege, and, and I hope it does continue. But it certainly has been a privilege um, to represent the people of North Reading uh, on, on all aspects. And um, I would just ask that you do come out and vote tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my comments, uh, my comments are the following. Uh, in the two years I've sat here, it's been an, uh, an absolute pleasure to serve with both Bob and Joe. Uh, Bob, for his leadership and his guidance and the, his commitment to this community. Uh, I don't know where he finds the energy or the time to cheer and do what he has done and guide us through probably the worst economic times we've ever faced. Uh, so I, I, thank, I thank you for that. And, and Joe, uh, although we don't always see eye to eye, I must say I respect okay. I respect the positions that you take. Uh, we always know where you're coming from, um, and you call them as you see them, and you vote the way uh, your, your conscience feels as though you vote. And I truly, truly respect that. Uh, I wish you both uh, well tomorrow and tomorrow's election. And please, everyone at home, it's an opportunity for you to get out and vote. Not everyone who lives in this world has an opportunity to do that. It's your right. Get out and vote. Exercise that vote. What I'm disappointed in in the community is that in these elections, which are very important to your community, we have a very low voter turnout. Should be, as you've heard, a very nice spring weather day. Uh, there should be no excuses. The polls are open 7 or 8 p.m. Please come out. I'd like to see an overwhelming turnout. We've had such great turnout and miserable weather in January. Uh, there's no reason and no excuse to have the same type of turnout uh, in early May when the weather is considerably better. And once again, all the voting locations, all the precincts are voting at St. Teresa's. Thank you. I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> As I recall, the last election, there well, was someone came in here. Coming, here coming to town hall. Uh, I, I would like to uh, thank all of my fellow board members for the support that they've given me. Uh, and uh, the, it's been really a pleasure working with all of you and previous members of the board over the past six years. Uh, it's, uh, I've had 100% support, uh, and uh, it's much, much appreciated. I want to thank the community for the support that they've given me and in my efforts to try to create a balance and to move the town forward. And uh, to my fellow uh, candidate, Mr. Vino, I wish you the best of thank luck. Uh, it's been a pleasure serving with you, and I look forward to maybe repeating that. Uh, Mr. Bellaconis, uh, you have just uh, been acted so professionally, and uh, you know, as chair for the past five years, I've had the opportunity to spend an hour and a half, or sometimes more, a week with you. And uh, sometimes I have a little different perspective than other board members who may not spend as much time with you. But you know, I know that you've worked very hard for the community, and you certainly, uh, from a professional point of view and what trying to do what's best for the community uh, you've done in my opinion an outstanding job it's much appreciated uh, with that uh, I entertain a motion oh and again we'll hopefully we'll see all of you out at the polls Joe and I'll be st standing out there with our signs <laughs> we'll be there. tomorrow uh, and it's supposed to be a nice day st. Teresa's Parish 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock tomorrow evening with that, uh, Ms. Deal, I'll entertain a motion for okay. executive session. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, I move to enter into executive session for the purposes of collective bargaining strategy and further the Board of Selectmen will return to open session for the sole purpose of adjourning. Second. Motion by Ms. Deal, <coughs> second by Mr. O'Leary. Mr. O'Leary. Aye. Ms. Deal. Mr. Aye. Vino. Aye. Aye. Mr. Delaney and Chair by Fly, and we'll take a two minute break. Quite an hour Yeah, not bad. <laughs>